Vector addition of forces. Experimental evidence has shown that a force is a vector quantity since it has a specified magnitude, direction, and sense, and it adds according to the parallelogram law. Two common problems in statics involve either finding the resultant force, knowing its components, or resolving a known force into components. As mentioned in the previous video, both of these problems require application of the parallelogram law. Now, if more than two forces are to be added, successive applications of the parallelogram law can be carried out in order to obtain the resultant forces. For example, if the forces F1, F2, and F3 act at a point O, the resultant of any two of the forces is found, say, F1 plus F2, and then this resultant is added to the third force, F3, to find FR, which means FR is equal to F1 plus F2 plus F3. This can be done first by adding F1 to F2 to find the resultant, which we call F1 plus F2, and then adding this F1 plus F2 to F3 to find the resultant FR. Using the parallelogram law to add more than two forces, as shown here, often requires extensive geometric and trigonometric calculation to determine the numerical values for the magnitude and direction of the resultant. Instead, this problem can be solved by using the rectangular component method, which will be explained in the next section.